Hi, I'm Dr. Ustall. I'm a physiatrist. That's a doctor who specializes in physical medicine and rehabilitation. In fact, I spent 25 years specializing in the rehabilitation of patients with amputation. So if you want to know more about the rehabilitation of amputation, then I'm the doctor you want to know. I've developed a series of online videos to help you learn some of the basics of what you need to know. The first one we're going to show today is about ACE wrapping the residual limb. You'll see several sequences of different people demonstrating, so therefore there's not just one perfect way to do it. In fact, any form that comes out with a tight wrap on the bottom, a little looser at the top, is okay. So please watch the video, learn a little bit, and look forward to future videos. Thanks. Okay. I like to start down here, coming across the bottom end first, securing my first loop with one that comes across, not too tight across the anterior tibia. I bring these corners in as tight as I can, looser across the front. I like to get two or three different layers in a figure eight fashion across the bottom. And now with three wraps, I've covered the whole bottom. And going across the front again, looser across the tibial crest. I'm going to do a second one across this corner in case there are dog ears or a bulbous shape. Now I'm going to slowly start to work that figure eight pattern all the way up above the knee. Tighter at the bottom, looser at the top, slowly going up. Each successive layer is going to add more and more pressure, so I'm going to end up with three or four layers in the bottom and only one or two layers near the top. As I approach the patella, I maybe only want one layer across the patella, so this one is going to go under following that crisscross pattern. This one is going to go across the knee. Maybe even one is going to go above the knee because we want to secure it well above the knee, but very loose here. And then we'll finally anchor it with a piece of tape wherever the end is. Okay, okay we're going to wrap the transtibial amputee. We start on a diagonal, go around and anchor once come around again and we want to catch the side here there's a small triangle there's a teardrop that ends up here you catch half of the teardrop come around catch the other open triangular area on the side and then catch the last part of the teardrop and now everything is covered you're going to go around one more time around the distal part of the leg you want to give a little extra pressure on each corner, right there, and again right there. And now we're going to make our way up the leg and encompass the knee. We want to make sure it's wrapped high enough so that we want to go to the mid-thigh area. Nice diagonals. and then we can secure it with a piece of tape. No clips are to be used to prevent any skin problems. Another piece of tape, and there you go. You have your nice crisscrosses, so we have even pressure. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Today we're going to wrap a right below knee foam amputee for an ace wrap. I start on the upper right, do a very loose wrap above the knee just to hold the ace bandage in place, come to the bottom right, wrap around the back, and come back up the front on the figure eight pattern. and continue to repeat a little bit higher at every interval. One trick I picked up is if there's a, a gap on the bottom here, from the top right area, I can come down and make a, a U shaped to cap off the bottom. and they continue working upward.
Put very little pressure down and increase pressure on the way up. Looks like I'm running out, but for the, the last wrap, I usually just wrap around the proximal patella and tape it down with a couple pieces of tape. Okay, we're gonna wrap the transfemoral amputee. We're gonna anchor once around the waist. So we bring the ace wrap around the person's waist and anchor it. And you want the roll on the top so you get a little more tension as you're uh, undoing it. You now wanna come across the front of the hip so that you're pushing the hip into hip extension. You never wanna wrap and come up this way. So you always wanna have your diagonal coming around the front of the hip. Come around and catch the bottom. You can give a little bit of pressure, extra pressure on each corner. You wanna get high up into the groin area to catch that tissue. Make a little teardrop here. This kind of slips a little sometimes. You can feel around the back with your hands so that you're sure that you're catching all of the open areas. secure at the end with some tape, never using the clips so that they don't work their way into the skin.